third place, um, but it's like a comfortable third place. We have it to is. acknowledge. Absolutely. They're going into this last window, we thought there was a real chance they'd go to Costa Rica with the World Cup potentially in jeopardy. Of course. It really wasn't in jeopardy, right? It would have no, taken something no, no. Uh, out of the fantasy book for, for, the, for the U.S. to fall to fourth. So that was never going to happen. Arriving to that game and, and, and avoiding that, to me, is is pretty critical. You talk about how they qualify. Right. But in qualifying, how much does the how matter? Especially it in CONCACAF. It, it, it does But that's what you're hanging your hat on. No, 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 no. You, no, I'm hanging my hat on you saying that people view American soccer differently because of the national team. No, that's not how they view American soccer differently. People feel good about this national team. Mm -hmm. They feel good about the prospect because these players of where they are playing at the club level. Not what they're doing with the national team. You may have had some good games against Mexico, but that doesn't mean you're a good team. Yeah. You know? That means you played well against one opponent. You, they, these players playing in Barcelona, Chelsea, Dortmund, Leipzig, et cetera, et cetera, they change the view of American soccer. You don't feel like we've seen a progression, though? I mean, if you go from beginning of Berhalter era to the Nations League defeat against Canada, sure. and even, even if you want to go back to the beginning of qualifying, remember that first window, yeah. how bad this team looked? I mean, even from there, we can see a market improvement. Um, window to window. I, I think you really have to point that out. That is a, a you know, sign e of even, even progress. This even this game, I, I thought the U.S. men's national team was doing fairly well up until the goal. You know, okay. they, they were uh, they were knocking you on the doorstep. You pointed at the, half, at the halftime stats. You said they, what, had 60% possession? 61% possession, road, like Rica, seven corners. Good. You know, they had like six shots, four on yeah. goal. They're, they're on the front foot. Uh, you know, I thought there was a few pretty good performances, half chances, definitely the better of the play. And you're like, okay. They're on the road. They're playing well. This is something that the U.S. national national team has not done very well playing on the road. Uh, so you're like, okay, very good. But then it's you let the team back in. You let Costa Rica back in. They take control with the alternate team, by the way. Um, platform. It's going to be huge for the golden generation, right? This yeah. so-called golden generation. We talked about in the past, Polisic missing his 2018 moment. Yeah. Uh, you say these guys change the opinions uh, of what the world thinks about American soccer. Well, you have a big World Cup. You might get a big move. So you've got players right now at the elite level. But now you're going to put 18, 23, potentially they're talking about 26 players going to this World Cup. 26 names into that elite level where you have a good tournament. You have one or two good games. You could really be in some into like a serious, serious level. Get a serious move. And I think it's that's the, the platform. opportunity that, that was missed last time that you also get now. Yeah, absolutely. You talk about 2018 and what you missed out on that World Cup. Besides inspiring uh, millions of youth, because I've heard it. You know, I saw Landon Donovan and DeMarcus Beasley in the 2002 World Cup, and that inspired me to be right there. These guys are my age. They're doing it. I want to be professional. I want to play on the U.S. men's national team. That inspires you. Uh, Matt Turner is talking about the 2010, you know, watching Landon Donovan, the Algeria goal. That watching Hercules Gomez, I think was his exact quote. It gave me chills. It was like, <laughs> that's my World Cup? Yeah. Are you trying to tell yeah. me I was part of something that inspired? Like, the, miss, the players who missed out, the potential that was missed out that wasn't tapped into, because things went so just wrong, because you did things so wrong last go around. This is huge, this is massive, because you've never had a generation with so many talented players, mm -hmm. and a lot of them doing good things. Christian Pulisic just won a Champions League. Christian right. Pulisic is a Champions League player, and he plays well in the Champions League. Gio, Dort uh, Gio Reyna with Dortmund you know, is one of the top 50 prospects you know, for the under 20 program, or under 23, whatever, you know, he was voted he was in nomination for Golden Boy. So there's some real players now. You've never had this type of talent where you can showcase to the world at this level. That gets people excited. Right. That's really what it is. It is. This talent, this generation um, has not had that moment on a world stage. Hopefully they'll get it here. Uh, and that should be very exciting.